I was often getting DMs that were like, girl, like you are a boss babe. Like you literally, you do the same things as an MLMer. And I kind of stepped back and I was like, you know what? Like, shit, you're right. I, I literally am. I feel like I had my anti MLM, like, biatch side. And then I had my Woven Co Boutique business boss babe, if you will, side. Do you guys don't know me? Do you guys don't know me? I was struggling so badly. I found myself scraping for anything that I can get to make an argument. I just really couldn't come up with any more arguments. What's up guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, hello, my name is Cam. And if you're not new and you keep coming back again and again, thank you, I really appreciate you. Before we get into the video, I want to say a big thank you to my new patron, Cynthia Lewis. Thank you so much for joining my Patreon. I really, really appreciate it. And I have some videos for patrons only coming up very soon. So if you'd like to join my Patreon as well, please check the link in the description below. All right, with that, let's get into the video. So it appears, my dears, that we live in a society, news to me, I guess. Emily Leah has returned to making anti-MLM content and I have thoughts, I have things to say. I kind of feel like we live in a society and, you know, there's some things that are fine and some things are not, but apparently nothing matters anymore. I don't know what's going on with all this like, you know, Kimberly, Emily Lea, potato, potato, <laughs> but you know, what's going on with Kimberly making anti-MLM content and then deciding she's actually pro-MLM and Emily Lea being like anti-MLM then deciding she's no longer anti-MLM, now she's anti-MLM again. Like, like, are we living in some sort of Libra universe where decisions <laughs> make no sense and it's impossible to take one or commitment is not a thing? <laughs> I don't know what's going on. But we're going to talk about it. I'm gonna watch the video just to kind of t give you my thoughts. I do not want to include her video because, you know, as per usual with all the videos, there's a balance between giving someone attention and, uh, you know, just making a video to raise awareness and to talk about a topic. And I want to do the latter. I'd rather not give her more attention that she deserves. She starts off by saying she's back. It's been six months and she's been watching. She's not been saying anything. She's been just trying to figure out what her position is. And she's anti-MLM again. Oh, 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 okay. <laughs> yeah. So one second, I noticed that she's turned off the comments and the likes or dislikes on her video. I don't know if on her entire channel or just on that video. And I'm afraid that Emily, I, I understand why she did it. She did it because she wants to, uh, she doesn't want to get involved with all the negative comments that are inevitably going to appear because she knows that this is not okay. <laughs> she knows this is not fine. And this is why she doesn't want to see the comments. She doesn't want to see the dislikes. Because at the end of the day, dislikes versus likes really don't do anything to your channel. There's still engagement. Comments are still engagement. But right off the bat, this just it signals to me that she doesn't want to own up to it. She doesn't want people to see the comments. You know what I mean? Because she knows the comments are going to be negative. She doesn't want to see the negative comments, which fair enough, but you can just have them there and not look at them. You don't have to disable the comment section. Part of not having the comments there is also other people not being able to speak and also other people not seeing what other people are saying because she doesn't want people like you, the viewers, to be influenced by some comments that you might be reading on that. So she's just turning them off. But that doesn't necessarily mean that we're just going to immediately agree with her. That's not at all what's happening. So basically just to start off, I'm not impressed with this strategy because it's just, you are not showing accountability. You are not showing that you have learned anything if you just kind of turn off the comments. What's the point in taking a six months break and having a think and, you know, watching 
the craziness unravel, but then coming back and not having learned anything because you just don't want to own up to it and you don't actually, you know what I mean? With that aside, she starts off by saying that she has put her anti-MLM videos back on her channel and uh, she's coming back to making anti-MLM content and she says that she has been cancelled by the community and, um, excuse me, who cancelled you? Like, nobody cancelled you. So you made a video six months ago saying you don't want to make any anti-MLM videos anymore. You left YouTube and we are the ones that cancelled you? Like who, who cancelled you? Nobody did anything. You just decided not to make content anymore. Not even other content. You made nothing. Not, nothing on YouTube. I mean, nothing on your channel. You didn't make anything there. Nobody cancelled you. Then she goes on to say that she doesn't. She's not part of the anti MLM community. That she doesn't care. That she doesn't want anything to do with it. Basically, I'm rephrasing. Uh, I'm not gonna just say her words, and I'm not gonna put her video in. But um, uh, if you don't care, <laughs> what is this video about? Like, if you don't care, why didn't you just come up with a video that has you, you know, just a random video about anything. Like, why did you have to make this video to come back if you really didn't care? Clearly she cares, it's just she wants to pretend like she's above it, but she's not. Okay, so she says that she, after seeing what she'd seen, she doesn't want to be part of the anti-MLM community and we shouldn't take it personally. But like, I'm sorry, it's hard not to... You guys know that I'm like fresh into this community. I'm not even part of the groups or Zoom chats or whatever the um, other creators have been on. But I'm considering myself in the anti-MLM community because I have made anti-MLM content and, you know, I now know the people in the community. I spoke to loads of them. So, you know, I feel like I am part of it now, but it's still kind of fresh. But also, um, you can just come out, come on here and say, oh, after seeing what I've seen, like, what have you seen? What exactly are you talking about? Or are you just going to say some dramatic statements just to be dramatic, just for the sake of tragedy, because you just love to entice people? Or what, what is the point in saying that you've seen things? Like, what things? What is that? What are you talking about? Just the fact that we kind of called Kimberly out? Is that what she's referring to? I don't know, because she didn't say. She then says that she was cancelled and that uh, there were comments that were saying that um, there's videos made about her in... <laughs> Can I just be honest for a second? Because I made videos that have pissed some people off and the comments were vile. Like, they weren't just saying, oh, there's been something. Like, they were vile. So if you say that you've been cancelled but then you tell me that the comments were just saying there's a video made about you, um, so? There can be videos made about things that's not that's not equivalent to being cancelled. You don't put nobody. Okay, no, I just feel like this is ridiculous. Like nobody cancelled her. <laughs> Who the fuck cancelled you? Personally, I don't know what group chat she's talking about. That is so nasty. And she also conveniently doesn't want to say what kind of group chat and who was involved in that group chat. But the reason I'm saying conveniently is because I think that if she said, oh, this is a group chat that contains these people, then those people would probably be able to come back and call her on her bullshit. Then at one point she says, we have bigger problems we need to fix. And then if you consider yourself not to be in the anti-MLM community, why are you saying we? Like, who is we? You and who? Your cat? Your dog? Who exactly is we? Quite a few times she says that she's been listening, she's been seeing things from a different angle, from a different point of view, that kind of thing. And um, what is that different angle? I mean, like, we are five minutes in and I still don't know where you stand. Like, I have no idea why why I'm watching this video because there's been five minutes of nonsense and I'm not seeing anything worth like remembering like what are you talking about what's the other point of view what's your point of view I'm now at the point in the video again it's five minutes almost six minutes in where she's talking about how she doesn't want to bash people she doesn't even want to blur people's faces and kind of and this is very reminiscent to what Kimberly I was saying in her email to me that basically um basically she's just like she was just saying that she doesn't want to ridicule people and women anymore and it's like 
But like, who's who? Nobody's made you do that. Nobody's asked you to do that. Like, I'm not sure why. Why is that the standard? Just reaction videos. Why is that the standard? And I've seen reaction videos that are not bad and they're not ridiculing anyone. And I don't understand why is it related to the anti MLM community the fact that you are nasty in your videos and you're ridiculing people or you're bashing people? Like, that's not an anti MLM thing. That's a you thing and it's a you problem and you have to address it yourself. Because, like, if you are nasty towards people in your videos, there's nothing, nobody else that can do that it will change that except for you. You have to stop being nasty. Just stop being nasty and that, there's that. She said the word cancelled several times. She's not being cancelled. She posted a video saying she's no longer anti-MLM and she stopped posting videos on this channel. Who cancelled you? Do you know? That's not what cancelling is. Cancelling is actually awful. Maybe she lost subscribers. Sure, but what can you expect when you build an audience of people who are anti-MLM and then you turn around and you see you're not anti-MLM anymore and basically saying that you're pro-MLM? Like, of course, they're going to unsubscribe. That's not because you're cancelled. That's because you don't have the same values that they came to your channel for. So they're not interested anymore. I'm still using the Bite Agave Plus uh, lip balm and it's lovely. It's absolutely, well, I think it's an intensive lip, lip mask. I'm using it as a lip balm, but it's really, really good. I'm saying that because I mentioned it in another video and uh, I'm linking it below if you want. I got it on the American Amazon because um, in the UK, Bite lipsticks and lip masks and all this stuff is like, extremely expensive it was like 80 quid so i got it on um, amazon.com and i had to pay shipping for so for the people in the uk if you want to get bite go on the american amazon or even on just the bite website because it's going going to be a lot cheaper than just getting it in the uk being cancelled quote unquote okay quote unquote cancel quote unquote fair enough because you've not been cancelled so the, the quotes are necessary she says that she wants to come out and say her truth, my truth. Uh, does that sound familiar to anyone? Because I think that um, Kimberlea said that several times, the whole my truth thing, and then also had like a bunch of story highlights being like truth one, truth two, <laughs> truth, truth three, truth four. I was in one of them because she was mad at me because I wasn't on her side. And then um, she deleted all of those. <laughs> so what happened to my truth when you take it down? And Emily, like what truth is that? If you six months ago said you're not anti-MLM and you're like, why didn't you just like, say that six months ago that wasn't your truth this isn't your truth we don't trust you because like it's hard to trust you when you act like someone who can commit to any like ideal like we're talking about values like moral values anti-mlm is not it's not about the community there's people who are anti-mlm all over the globe who are not on youtube or on instagram it's not about these 5 10 20 people on youtube and on instagram it's about being against those pyramid like structures so you can't just change your values like that and then come back and say that we cancel you. It's so funny that she says that she wants to come back and help people um, and that she wants to talk about business and uh, she doesn't need us to agree. But isn't that like a terrible business idea? Like if you were a good business person, if you were a good businesswoman that um, had advice that was worth spreading, that had, you know, things that were worth listening to, then I think you wouldn't be cancelled. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like you can't just come here and be like, oh, I've been cancelled, so listen to my business advice. Like, obviously you don't know business very well. <laughs> Sorry. I know it's harsh because she's so young, right? But like, at the same time, this is the requirement of the job. Like, if you just can't even do the content creation part without being cancelled, then you can't. And I'm saying being cancelled in quotation marks because 
but you can't be like, oh yeah, listen to my business advice. Oh, she's starting an anti-MLM podcast. Oh, yay. Wow. Okay, so let's talk about business for a second. So this is such a terrible idea. You have made such a bad decision when it comes to anti-MLM. On YouTube, everyone knows you for this instance where you declared you're not anti-MLM anymore. You now turning around and making an anti-MLM podcast is really just, I don't want to say a waste of time because we should also be confident enough in our own thoughts and beliefs that we can give someone a chance. So as opposed to Kimberlea, I am way more inclined to give Emily Leah a chance. However, it's a bad strategy as a business person to start another platform on the fame or infamy that you got from the other anti MLM platform that you have that you kind of shot yourself in the foot with. She keeps saying that she's going to give you her as a viewer. You as a viewer, you're going to get her, you're going to get some honest truth. But it does come across as very, very entitled. She's like, oh, you know, this comes with the territory, whatever. Uh, it doesn't matter. None of it matters. This is like so entitled and so tone deaf and unaware that there were people who followed her for being anti-MLM and for her anti-MLM content. She doesn't sound apologetic to me. She doesn't sound like she thinks she's done anything wrong. She did say at one point that she thinks she's done something wrong, but like, I don't think she really does. I think she just said it like that. But like, if she thought that she had done something wrong, she would be a little bit more, just not so entitled. I think entitled is the word I want to use. Is she saying that she's so disappointed in the anti-MLM community? Like, why are you disappointed? because you are trying to distance yourself from the anti-MLM community. Six months ago, you made a video saying you're not anti-MLM. We are disappointed. People in the anti-MLM community, anti-MLM viewers, um, everyone is disappointed in you. <laughs> like You being disappointed back really doesn't, doesn't matter. Nobody cares. Okay, so she said, um, that uh, she started because she was in an MLM and she wanted to share her experience. But then it became like this, who does this video first type situation. Now, okay, so this is something that I kind of gathered from Kimberly as well. And I'm starting to just see a few things. So first of all, the competition thing, any, anywhere you're going to go, <laughs> you look at newspaper. I, I'm a journalist. Um, I work in television. I make short documentaries for BBC. And like there's platforms within the BBC that compete against each other. Not to mention the BBC competes with Channel 4, which competes to, you know, like there's always a competition. Whether you're a small creator or a large, you know, TV channel, whether you are in the makeup industry or, you know, anti-MLM or, I don't know, car industry or whatever, there's always a competition of some sort. The fact that you couldn't handle competition and the fact that you couldn't do it respectfully doesn't mean that the anti-MLM community is toxic. It's just real life and you're just a baby, in my opinion. And I think this is what you're struggling with. Just, you know, seeing and not being unable to deal with the fact that other people are making videos first when before you, that is something like, a, that's a mental switch you need to get over. I don't know, talk to a therapist about that because like, this is always going to be the case in life. You know, who, like you always have friends who buy their house before you, who get married before you, have kids, you know, like it's, it's always a thing in life. But I don't think at the end of the day that there is any pressure. And YouTube is not necessarily a platform where, you know, you can only have one piece of content on something. You can make several pieces of content on the same thing. For example, I'm now working on a video about Tony Robbins. Mooncat just made a video about Tony Robbins. I'm not going to just not make the video because she made it. I think it's great. Her video is made by her. She's got a different voice. I'm going to make a video that is different. It's on, on the same person, but it's not the same video because I am a different person and I have a different storytelling ability than Moon can. Does it make sense? But, and I'm sure that there's like hundreds of videos about Tony Robbins, but like who cares? You never need to be the first one on YouTube. This is such a 
losing battle as well because like if I was to think oh I want to be the first one to make a video about this but then I'm starting to make the video and I'm editing and it's taking me a couple of days by the time I post it there's two or three videos on that what am I gonna do just throw the video away no no because uh, you've put the work in and it, it doesn't matter if there's more videos out there on the same topic in fact sometimes when there's more videos on the same topic out there they can just kind of create a wave so you get more views yourself does it make sense so it's kind of a not a movement but like a trend in, so it's not really bad when more people make videos about the same thing moving on she wants to help people who want to start their own business and who want to do things the right way and if you are a person who wants to start a business listen to anyone but her and also not motivational speakers and not self-proclaimed business experts who are like Tony Robbins who are not business experts. Just <laughs> listen to actual business people who have done it the right way. Emily Leah, being someone who's done what she's done, obviously doesn't do things the right way. So if you need to learn how to do things the right way, don't learn from her because she's not, she doesn't know. She's just like winging it and clearly not doing a great job. I am sorry that she got those if she did get those like awful you know bullying type messages i'm sorry for that because i've received plenty of those and it's not a nice feeling she literally says what i was cancelled for was for being in a group chat that said nasty things what no you decided to leave you said you're going to leave the anti ml you're not anti mlm anymore so what group chat? Nobody cares about your group chat. She just came up with a video after Kimberly uh, six months ago. She said she's not on TMNM anymore and she stopped posting content on this YouTube channel. Am I missing anything? What the fuck? Like nobody ever said anything about the group chat. I don't think I've ever heard about this group chat until now. I know the big question is, am I anti-MLM? Yes, I am anti-MLM. The big question is, am I anti-MLM? Yes, I am anti-MLM. So then, <laughs> why the fuck did you make a video <laughs> six months ago saying you're not anti-MLM anymore? Okay, let's just, I'm just gonna say a few conclusions because I feel like this video is getting a bit long. As far as I'm concerned, and I don't wanna speak for everyone else, I'm just speaking for myself. Emily, I can come back to the anti-MLM community, no problem. I personally don't, care <laughs> i'm not part of group chats or facebook groups or things like that i'm just making content that is anti-mlm and as far as i think being anti-mlm and making content against mlms is enough to be considered part of the anti-mlm community business advice nobody cares emily i'm so sorry but you're a baby <laughs> you know no business clearly <laughs> um and also just let's talk about that because for a second because she's very very young i can understand how mistakes can be made at a young age and how you don't understand the world very well and all that stuff but like unless we explain it to her she's not going to understand so now the problem is that she's not apologized the problem is that she's not very um she doesn't sound sorry she doesn't understand that she's hurt people through that video that she made six months ago she doesn't understand this and she just thinks she's a victim somehow and she's not she was the one to hurt people by saying that to just basically disappoint everyone by saying she is no longer anti-mlm and by following kimberley and you know it's just at, at this point right now with this video she's still done a much better job than kimberley has done because kimberley has emails to me and the lack of a response on her channel um, is a lot worse than this. Like, this is bad, but it's not as bad as Kimberly's emails. I personally will not watch her, and also, I just, at this point, I don't really trust her judgment, and I don't trust her words either. Like, I don't trust that she's being honest because she said, I'm not anti MLM, now she's anti MLM. Like, it's just like constantly like changing, and I can't trust that. That's bullshit. Do what you think is best. Like, um, that's my just my main advice. But let's remember that she's really young, and like, she still has things to learn in life. And uh, we all do, as you know, I'm sure that you guys know, because I know you guys are in a. Uh, in a different age bracket than her um as at least based on my analytics it seems like you guys are in 
my, more in my age bracket than hers. I just kind of wish that she had thought about the people that she has disappointed and um, the people that have supported her and watched her videos and, you know, um, all that stuff. I, I wish she'd thought about that before coming on to make this video because this video just sounds so entitled and like she's the victim, like it's all about her. And she doesn't acknowledge any of the her that she personally created to the watchers, to other anti-MLM creators and so on. So that's not enough. Yeah, okay, that's it. Thank you to my patrons as always. Remember to check my Patreon at the link in the description below. Uh, thank you for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video if you like it. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.